I am here with Ari Kiriki. Uh, he's the Vice President of Business Development for Gnome, which is Gnome's company. And he's just going to tell us a little bit about what Gnome is, um, how it compares to some of the other competitors out there. Um, so I guess uh, first, Ari, just uh, how is Gnome different than 23andMe or Navigenix in the, in the personal genome sequence world? Right, so, so we're different in that we do actual sequencing. We don't <laughs> scan the human genome, we sequence it. And the only way to do that is to use one of these next generation sequencing machines. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we have exclusive access to 32 $600,000 genome analyzers built by uh, Lumina. And that's why we're able to do a whole genome sequence so fast. Um, so what we end up doing is, uh, so, so that's the major difference. I mean, we look at the, we sequence the entire genome, all six million letters, yeah, instead, yeah. Of, um, instead of the 0.02% uh, scan that 23 and, and uh, Navi do. Which is chipping. Which is chipping, versus, versus, exactly, okay. versus sequencing, which is a completely yeah. different uh, platform. And then the other thing that is different, I mean, that from a tech perspective, which, which is very cool, is instead of a central database uh, that Navi has and 23 has, where you have to go to their central database, your data is stored there, if there's an update, you have to go to that with us. Um, all of your information is on a USB drive. Mm -hmm. We put it on an 8-gig USB drive, and then when I mean, there's an update, let's say that XYZ mutation increases your chance for ABC disease, mm -hmm. um, you, you, you go to our server, download the query, disconnect from the internet, plug in a USB drive, and then check whether you have that condition or not. We don't know the answer. It's not located on the central okay, database, so, so it's highly secure. The, your yeah. data is never on the web. It's never connected to the web. It's not in the cloud. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's from a tech perspective, very yeah. you know, and then and we actually use um, an Iron Key, which is a company that has a highly secure USB drive, yeah. and it actually will self-destruct um, if you put the wrong password in too many times, if it's attacked by a virus or a hacker or it sets a physical attack. So it's quite secure. Um, and then from an analysis point, it's completely different in that we can, whenever there's a, a new paper, we put that into the database, and if with 23 and Navi, if that um, paper wasn't based on their chip, they can't report on it because they don't have the data. Have but because we have the whole genome. We can um, we can put that in the database, and we I mean we how, how many researchers do you have uh, analyzing these papers? And should geneticists working for now? So right now we're interpret these results. Yeah. So ninety percent of our staff we're just under twenty people, but they're okay. all you know, other than our corporate attorney, our CEO, and myself. Everyone is a bioinformatician really? or, or or a software yeah. developer or a database guy, and um, so and we're hiring and, and we're we're doing okay, um, but uh, but almost everybody on the team. All, see, our core competency is the interpretation of the whole yeah. genome. Uh, our, um, uh, we're, we're technology agnostic when it comes to the sequencing. So what we're doing is we're, we're waiting, we're riding that wave down. Um, when we first launched the company, the price was three hundred fifty thousand okay. dollars. Twelve months ago, we reduced it to ninety nine thousand. Mm -hmm. Last week, we reduced it to sixty eight thousand. And every single time we do it, we sell more. Oh. And uh, Gnome, as far as I know, is the only company doing this, is that right? The, we're the, the we're full sequence. We're the only company doing whole genome sequencing and interpretation. Now, Illumina, for, just, for joined, uh, well, uh, Illumina just joined the market, but they're doing just the sequencing, not the interpretation. So they send us their samples uh, to the, uh, uh, to, for, to, interpretation. for the interpretation. Okay. Can you talk a bit about uh, how many customers you serve, and you know, especially as, as the price dropped? Mm -hmm. what, what's that look like? Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we've been kind of, um, we're, we're privately funded, mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, and we haven't been talking about our numbers, but I, I can tell you that our CEO was quoted uh, in January of this year, yeah. um, accurately quoted that we had already reached 20 uh, customers. Mm -hmm. um, so that was in the beginning of this year. Um, so we've sold yeah. you know, more since okay. then. And that, that, were, that was whole genomes. Um, and what I can say is we sell uh, more exomes than genomes. Okay. And that most of the genomes we sell are to these um, you know, wealthy individuals who are very cutting edge, who, who are bleeding edge, who want to know the they, whole, they, they want to know the whole thing. Um, and then the, 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 most of the exomes we sell mm -hmm. are to researchers. Um, so researchers are sending us their samples, we're bundling them yeah. in with our consumer samples, and we're shipping them off to the sequences. So do you get the sense that people that purchase their, their whole genome sequence now mm -hmm. uh, are doing it as an investment, so as the new reports come out and as the new research gets done, they can refer to their data just to have the complete set? Or is there currently uh, an, an actual larger information benefit for doing the whole genome versus 23andMe that's identified a set of SNPs that have, they view to be clinically relevant? And as more tests come out, as more clinically relevant things come out, they put them on a chip, mm -hmm. right, to, to, to test for them too. Right. Like, is, is there an information advantage to having the whole thing currently? 
Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, uh, yes, because there are, for example, our first level analysis, there are 1,400 genetic diseases that, yes. we, that we check you for. Okay. And you can only check those by doing sequencing. And if you were to order each one of these tests by themselves, I mean, the, the tests run between $300 and $1,000 each. So we check you for all of those. Now, none of our clients have had any of those diseases. They're the bad ones. They're, yeah. you know, Huntington's disease, um, things of that nature. But um, everyone's a carrier. Uh, for uh, you know, between half a dozen and two dozen things, and so far it hasn't come uh, become really um, uh, critical in their lives because they're past child rearing age. But as the price comes down, I'm sure couples are going to you know check yeah. to decide whether they want to do natural childbirth or okay. in vitro because they don't want to pass you know some of this stuff down. Great. And as as prices fall in the sequencing world, um, you'd imagine a point where you'd have 23andMe or Navgenics offer. Um, the, f the full sequence. Yeah. At, at that point, how do you how do you think uh, Nome will retain its competitive advantage? It's a really good question. I mean, wait, so we're totally going about it in different ways. Like they're sort of the uh, Navient Twenty Three are sort of the Apple um, um, computer um, model, and that it's kind of similar in that it's you know Apple's always two thousand dollars. It just gets better and better and better and better. Okay. And then we're sort of like the. Uh, the transatlantic travel model where only millionaires and Hollywood stars but eventually spend, the price will drop. That eventually the price will drop. Yeah. And we'll meet. So we are going to meet and I mean and, and we're hoping that our um, you know the fact that we started at the finish line, that we've created as much um, mm -hmm. core competency and interpretation of whole genome data, that we'll have an advantage there, that we'll have done it more than yeah. anyone else. And then the second thing is the idea that each individual owns the data. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that we don't owe the data, we don't um, retain the, the, the ability to sell that data to pharmaceutical companies or whatever. So that may in the future become you know, our, our competitive advantage. Great. Well, thank you so much for chatting. Oh, it's, it's a my pleasure. Hearing about so the, this new burgeoning field yeah. of personal genomics right thank here you. at Tedman. Yeah, thanks so much. Great.